Hi, here's Patrick from Faster Bikes, and today we test two similar systems on similar bikes. We have the popular Barfang BBS HD with uh, 30 amps. This one has a shunt mod with 45 amps. And the all new CYC X1 Pro with uh, 65 amps now restricted to 50 amps by firmware for the first tests on the left side is the Scott LT with 180 travel with a 6P 14S battery 52 volts uh, 30Q cells and the propane Thai with a 5P uh, 30Q battery so should be enough power for both bikes and now we look how they perform all together comparison bbs hd against the cyc uh, here's my girlfriend sylvia and at the signal go we we start with throttle only three two one go Barfang even a bit faster. Now the CYC. So three, two, one, go. Pretty similar. That was pretty close, I didn't expect that. The Bafang has 45 amps and 57 volts and I've charged the CYC a bit less at 55 but it has 50 amps. The CYC feels torquier but performance wise the Bafang seems similar. I wanted to try the gear version first because the Cyclone has a similar concept with the chain version but uh, th this is a bit uh, different it is uh, louder the chain wheel is bigger I had some problems when the chain fell down it was pretty hard to resume it and I don't know yet how it will perform when it gets dirty. Uh, it should be also louder than the chain version. But like I said, I wanted to try this concept first because it seemed a, a new concept. And the chain version should be less noisy and is probably the the better option. These are the original cranks. Some improved lightweight versions will be uh, available uh, later on. They are a bit heavier than the original Bafang ones. Here are the Lecky ones mounted which are also a bit heavier than the original ones but uh, with more strength. As you can see here the motor is under the chain wheel. This is a 46 one <coughs> and could would touch before the chain wheel itself. On the CYC you can see the the motor is much higher but of course the drivetrain is has also a big size. In the gear in the chain version will be a bit smaller. Starting noise with the throttle only CYC motor. Now uh, starting noise with the BBS HD throttle only. So this is the comparison from the other side. 
ground clearance uh, with the CYC is better on the stator side. This is also nice to look, this uh, small window uh, when the motor turns. Uh, I can imagine this could also crack if you hit something and it is replaceable but uh, maybe some small parts are going inside. Uh, to f make a summary, the CYC in my opinion looks a bit better. It's uh, better made, better bearings. Uh, it costs more. It has a better ground clearance. The BBS HD in the stock uh, 30 amps configuration uh, is of course much less powerful than the CYC with 65. <coughs> the Bafang is a lot quieter. With this gear version you can hear some winding noise. Uh, with this gear version also you have a problem if your chain falls down. You need some time to bring it up again. <coughs> I don't know how it is in the dirt when uh, some dirt comes in the gears could uh, cause problems what I forgot to mention is that I have to remove some uh, material here I mean the propane uh, frame is a bit special uh, with his linkage and as I know th uh, this plate will be modified with uh, some new forms and maybe suitable for more frames now but could maybe like it is now it uh, should work for 95 percent of the bikes this is the stock throttle of CYC which is the same as the Bafang has the display is a bit high it has three buttons Actually this model is not uh, well made but they say they have an improved version because this moves uh, a lot up and down and could be removed easily. In the start mode shows you kmh or miles, the pass level and the line below can be switched between RPM, time, current, uh, voltage and trip. Uh, and Odo. Here you can switch between three modes uh, which can be set in the app like uh, max speed or power. Um, all the settings now are in Chinese in the Android app and I don't have an iPhone so it's a bit hard to me f to read everything. The principle of wiring is similar to the Bafang, which is one main wire going to a splitter. They use Hewlett company, uh, Bafang use Hygo. <coughs> and here is the speed sensor, similar to the Bafang. It will be another one later on. The Bafang display shows you a bit more lines and a bit more information altogether. There are some choices of different displays while the CYC at the moment has uh, only one. Uh, regarding top speed I can hit uh, 60 km per hour with the Bafang. It, the shunt mod didn't make much difference in the top speed and while the CYC can turn a bit faster and I hit 70 kmh uh, GPS speed. If you are planning to buy the CYC get also the programming cable since there will be much improvements. I mean the company is new, uh, there will be a lot of changes in settings and 
firmware like I said and uh, let's give it a chance it is an interesting motor in my opinion it is a good motor a nice concept a bit different than the Bafang uh, I think we will offer the CYC soon in our webshop with some spare parts and there will be uh, a lot of improvements in material in controller in speed sensor in display uh, we are only in the beginning it has a great future and I think it could fit nicely in your frame with a nice clearance and if you use uh, your own controller it should handle a lot more power than the Bafang and is also lighter